The Prusa Core 1 is a 3D printer for people who want a tool, not a toy. It trades the wow factor of LiDAR and AI for the quiet confidence of industry-leading reliability and repairability. Buy this if you print engineering materials like ABS, ASA, or PC regularly and need dimensionally accurate parts without warping. You value long-term repairability and want a machine you can service easily in five years. You are already in the Prusa ecosystem and want a compact core Y machine that shares parts with your MK4. Skip this if you strictly print PLA for cosplay or toys. A Bamboo Lab P1S or A1 will save you money and do the job just as well. You need multicolor printing right now. The MMU3 support is coming but isn't integrated like an AMS system yet. You want a plug-in and never touch a screw appliance. The Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon is currently the benchmark for consumer 3D printing. It has made my other printers gather dust simply because it removes the friction between having an idea and holding the part. Buy this if you value your time more than your money. You want multicolor capabilities or easy support interface material. Using PLA support for PLA prints is a game changer. You need to print abrasive engineering materials like carbon fiber nylon out of the box. Skip this if. Noise is a deal breaker. It is too loud for a bedroom or quiet office. You are on a budget. The Bamboo Lab P1S offers 90% of the performance for significantly less money. You lose the LiDAR and nicer screen, which frankly you can live without. You demand open source. If you want to modify every aspect of your machine firmware, stick with a Voron or a Prusa. The Creality K2 Plus is a beast, but it's a beast that needs a handler. It bridges the gap between consumer ease and industrial capability, leaning slightly towards the industrial side. Buy this if you need the massive 350 millimeter cubed build volume for helmets, props, or large functional parts. You print ABS, ASA regularly and need the active chamber heating to stop warping. You are comfortable tinkering with slicer profiles or rooting killiper to unlock its full potential. Skip this if you have limited desk space, get a bamboo P1S or X1C or K1C instead. You print mostly PLA and just want a plug and play appliance experience with zero troubleshooting. Silence is a priority for your workspace. 